Okay, so these are the items that we got regarding the human body. There were so many available at the convention. It was very hard to pick from which ones to bring home, but we do have some resources already here since we do want to do um, the human body for science in the new school year. We have several resources here already and we wanted to combine these along with it. Um, it's not going to be the only science that we're going to be doing for the school year. We're going to do it as a unit and then we're going to incorporate other science topics within the school year. Um, but this this book was it caught the kids attention while we were at the convention i believe we got this one in the rainbow resources shop and it's a fun book talking about all the different parts of the body and the different systems we just liked it because it was very colorful and it provided you know different ways of showing and illustrating how the body works this is a pullout this is showing you where the blood goes so it's a cool it's a cool book and the kids really liked it so this is going to be one that we're going to be using when we're working on the human body the other one that i got was this one was for my little one. Um, it's from Evan Moore and it says grades one through three. And it's also an activity workbook about how the body works. So I figured that he would be working on this and we would be doing the activities while his sisters are also working on their book. So it's just, you know, an extra little activity book to go along with what we'll be working on regarding the human body so that's this one and then I found two for the girls so we en I ended up buying it because instead of making copies of one I just figured that for the price it was better off just buying both of them instead of wasting paper and ink. And they would have their own workbook to go along with whatever topic we are studying during our human body unit. <clears throat> it's a fun little activity. Nothing not boring it'll be engaging and they'll be learning as they're doing it so that's that for human body keeping it in the science theme I did pick up this one for um, my little guy he is obsessed with weather so we're constantly reading about hurricanes and tornadoes and snowfalls and just you know everything that relates to weather so um, I saw this one and I picked it up for him. Also from Evan Moore, and it's for grades K through one. And it's also um, activities and information regarding the different types of weather. I just thought it was a fun little book, which will be engaging for him too, since this is a topic that he has been fascinated with for several months. So we'll be working on weather as well. Regarding handwriting, I picked these up because I want the girls to practice cursive. We started in the beginning and we haven't kept up with it because I wanted to get a new workbook. Um, so I did pick these up. This one is for my little guy. Also from Evan Moore, and it says for all grades because it really isn't um, grade level specific. It's just, you know, it's a handwriting book because I want him to get better at writing within the space available when he's working on lowercase letters. So it goes through the alphabet and then it has sentences, you know, it has information. 
So this will be a little handwriting book that he'll have to work on. For the girls, I picked up two of these. Um, it's around the world in 26 letters. I picked it up because I thought it was nice how I had information. So while they're doing cursive and practicing their cursive, they're also learning um, information about around the world. This is Copenhagen is in Denmark. D is for Dublin. Dublin is in Ireland. It goes on and on and on with information. I just thought it was a pretty book and I showed it to them and they liked it because it gave it also gives information down here about you know whatever country it's speaking about on the top so yes so they'll be working on these history history we picked up several things there were so many options um, and we were trying to see what we were going to bring home with us. Other stuff I know that we can check out from the library. But we did pick up a few different things. So I'm going to show you these two first. We're going to be working on the Holocaust. And learning about Anne Frank. And reading different novels and all. But um, one of my daughters was interested in picking up well we have three in our hand regarding world war ii but we did pick up this one it has information colorful so it's something that we're going to be using we love the dk eyewitness books or just any of the dk books we have several and actually this book was seven forty. Sorry, 7.45. We picked this one up at Rainbow Resources as well. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of the books that we bought were from there. And we also picked this one up. What is the Holocaust? We love these books. This one was 4.50. We picked these two up because we want to start working on Greece. We want to start doing also um, Greek mythology. Um, so we picked these two up just to bring something home with us where we can start um, using this as planning and start brainstorming on how we're going to use this. I just love Evan more. So, um, and of course, the, D the DK eyewitness book also. We pick these two up so this is gonna get us started this one we actually found two of these um, they both had a different set of topics but I had the girls go through it and this is the one that they picked this is pretty cool because it's uh, mystery and history and um, this one basically talks about um, ancient history so it will have these topics who invented the alphabet the terracotta soldiers the statues on easter island just different topics and then it tells you by activities day one day two day three day 45 but you can really use this depending on how you choose to gives you information <clears throat> excuse me we just thought it was a great resource to get us started on learning about these different topics. It caught their attention and um, I jump on anything that caused their attention for them to want to learn on. So I had never seen this book before. So once I saw it, I gave them the option of picking which one they wanted. And um, I'm, I'm actually glad that they picked this one because it's the one that I originally wanted them to pick. So yes, we found this at the convention. This was also in the Rainbow Resources um, 
14, 14, um, stamp. So one of my girls loves history and comics, anything comics, she loves, and um, she also loves history. So she just was browsing through and she picked these two up. They're in comic format. So she's excited to just read. This is a super easy read, but um, she liked them. She's going to be learning something while reading them, so I wasn't going to say no. Now, this I picked up and then I showed it to them. This was also at, um, this wasn't at Rainbow Resources. This one was in one of the other stands. Oh yes, it was. It was at Rainbow. Okay. This one I picked up because I just thought it was pretty neat. Um, I figured that we can um, use this and learn about different landmarks in the world. This is about the Colosseum, so this is something that we would be able to use. There's just, even if we weren't gonna use this on a specific um, unit that we're learning about, just the fact that we can just pick up a book and then learn about this particular item. Landmark, actually. And, um, and then build it, because you get to build a 3D version of it, as you can see. So we thought that this was pretty neat because they get to have a hands-on activity while learning. This is one of my girl's favorite. Because she wants to go to Australia one day. So, yeah, we thought this was pretty cool. We had never seen anything like this one either, so they only had one and I grabbed it. I was very lucky. And this, I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, we love learning about the states, so it's a story about the states getting all scrambled. So I will post about this book later on, but if any of you are doing geography and learning about the states, super cute book. I picked these up. Um, I got this one actually for my little guy. It's activities based on the stories of the Bible you would get to read. And then you would do the activity related to what you just read. And then go on to the next reading and then do the activity. I just thought it was such a pretty activity book because it had the story right there and then it had an activity right after. So I loved it and I grabbed it. Can't wait for him to start using this book. One of my girls picked this one. It's a cute little book. It talks about, you know, it gives you the verses and um, it's a sweet little activity book by Fun Schooling. Beautiful. I love the artwork in the front. Thank you, Fun Schooling, for this awesome giveaway. Thank you. So these are just random things that I picked up for my little guy. I just thought this was super cute. It's a passport to reading. You would write the title, author, illustrator, page count, the date, something about the book, and then he would be able to draw or write a little description of what he read. I just thought it was cute. So I just picked up one. I also got this, my first book of money counting coins. I just liked how it gave the explanation on the count, and then he would have to count it and then trace it, and then he would do it on his own on the next page. So I just like this and I picked it up for him. So that's counting points. These I picked up also. This one's reading comprehension. So he would read and then he would answer the questions by bubbling in the answers according to what he understood. 
And it's just one passage with five questions. You can color this. This is reading comprehension. And these were actually two nine. And these are not from Rainbow Resources. I actually picked it up from the stands of uh, Miller Pads and Paper. I also got this one. This one's a fun little one. He gets to find the hidden items. Word problems. He would read them and solve them. He loves math. So this one will be engaging for him. And this one, it says second grade, but I looked through it and I know that he would be able to do the activities that are on here. So, except timetables, he's not there yet. But all the other ones, he would be able to do. So that's this one. All these were 290. And I also picked this up. I actually had been eyeing this on Amazon. Um, I had it in my cart. I didn't end up buying it. Um, but I actually bought it at the convention. So it comes with a little scissor. And it gives them activities on how to cut. So this will keep them busy too. $3.95. Not bad. It's actually, it was actually cheaper buying it at the convention than in Amazon. So I'm glad I found it. So for games and other random items, I'll just be bringing them into the video um, little by little. Um, I ended up buying the the Judy clock. I just thought it was so cute because it was a smaller version. So he'll be using this for when we start working on time. And it comes with a little activity book. So this was $6.75. These I thought were so cute. They actually have a dice inside the dice. So this is something that we can use for um, quick. I got one for each of the kids in like their favorite colors for the girls and for him. Um, he can work on addition and subtraction. So he would flip it and whatever number he would get, three minus two, three plus two. Then he would have to answer it. The same for the girls. They can do multiplication, division, just something quick. I just thought they were super cute. And then I bought these all. <clears throat> we got Race Across the USA game. Um, I've never played it before, but I didn't want to leave it. So we ended up buying it. The girls looked at it. So did my little guy. 15.50. I didn't even check to see if it was cheaper on Amazon or not. Some of the items I was trying to compare prices and honestly the prices were cheaper at the convention than what, than what was popping up on Amazon. So um, I have bought from Rainbow Resource before um, to use items and books and workbooks for the last school year and I would also um, benefit from the free shipping but I didn't want to wait since I was actually physically seeing all these items so I bought this one. We're excited to use it. We'll do a review once we end up working on it, playing with it, and we'll let you know. We also got this one. The Scrambled States of the United States. So we're gonna use this one too. We've never used this one before, so we'll keep you posted, but we're excited to use it. It's a game, it's fun, and they're going to be learning at the same time. But I just won't tell them that. I'll just tell them that they're playing a game. Got this one. Word shout. You have to make words from the dices that flip on your turn. So we'll see how this goes. This is just going to be a fun game to uh, figure out what, how many words they can make with their letters. And then of course we are um, softies for Legos so um, I couldn't say no and they were cheaper at the convention than on Amazon. I, this I did 
also check the price before buying it. But mm, my kids love Legos, so do I. And um, my daughter just loved that it had contraptions to make them move. So I didn't, I couldn't say no because it has fun functions. So with movable parts which she loves to create um, stop motion videos. So I know that this is something that's gonna be very beneficial for her. So, and it was $16.95. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the items. Oh wait, 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 before I forget. I also picked these up. Professor Noggins, the human body card game because we're gonna be doing anatomy and then of course, um, Geography of the United States. I actually had been eyeing these two. I had them on my Amazon cart and um, I just never clicked buy. So it was kind of a temptation when I saw them there and I got excited because I saw these both that I had been eyeing. Of course, I kind of want all of Professor Noggin's um, card games, but I did buy these. So $7.90 and these were from. Miller pad and paper. So there you go. Now I'm officially done with all the items we bought. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the video. Um, hope it was helpful in case you were eyeing any of these items or maybe you just learned new things just like I did when I saw them. So thank you for watching. Bye.